Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Wandering Village. I'm Amy Greenbottle, and last episode we had a bit of a tricky time, but don't worry, things are going much better this time. We've got lots of trees on Anu's back, so we do not have any sort of wood shortage, which is great, because that means our buildings are actually getting built this time, which is obviously massively important and extremely helpful. We're getting Anbu's kitchen going in already. It's actually almost done. It's almost done before we've got even got feeding trebuchet research. So you can see things are going better. There is definitely a huge improvement this time. And I think we're going to be much better off. Now, feeding Anbu is going to be super priority, but that's okay because feeding trebuchet is being researched. It's almost done. We'll get it built in no time and we should be able to feed Anbu. Although, he'll probably find some mushrooms because you usually do find a pile of mushrooms near the beginning because getting your kitchen in that quick is very difficult. But Anbu's waking up and he's going to continue to go and we are setting off on another adventure today now we've got our houses in which is really great because that means we are not getting minus although we are hungry uh oh oh yeah look how low the food is gotten uh oh no it's fine it's fine we have the berry gatherers there's three people working here we've got the kitchen they're making the berry muesli there are seven in here there is tons 12 now even that's nearly enough for everyone to come and get some food we've got people gathering berries from over here because i did set some of these berries off to be gathered we may need to stick in another berry gathering hut, though. It's just a matter of where we would put it. Oh, the feeding trebuchet is done. Anbu's unsure of which direction to take, but I can't really help him. We don't have a horn blower yet. It's not even researched. We are researching it next, but he's going to have to decide. Now, I am hoping, praying even, that he goes into the jungle. Because in the mountains, nothing's going to grow. We are having... It's extra cold here, so Ice Age, the global temperature has dropped by one level which means even in the jungles, poison forests, we are cold. Things are not growing as well here. If we go into the mountains, which is colder, nothing's going to grow. I mean, the berries will still be growing, but our mushrooms for Anbu will not grow and our herbs will not grow. So I wonder, just in case, do we need to get an extra person to come work in here? Oh, the Anbu kitchen's up and running. Okay, that's fine. I think we just need one person in there. If we can get two mycologists though, can we get two mycologists? I'd have to steal another worker from somewhere, which I'm a bit worried about doing. I'll take it. We only have two general labors, but there are lots of stuff around. They just need to carry it to places. Let's get as many mushrooms in as we can, because if he does choose to go, and he has, into the mountains, we are not going to be getting any food. Now, the other thing is, we don't have any water collectors. We need to get those in. Air wells need to be going in. We don't even have any farms, but... It's a bit tricky because uh, what are we going to be even doing with the farms? That is, uh, I don't know. I mean, let's get an air well in. We're going to be putting in a farm down here somewhere. Maybe just like right here. And then that will go in when it goes in. The air well, I mean, I wish we had the air well now because it's raining. So obviously we'd be getting more water, but we're, we didn't. We might also want to put an air well in kind of near these two. So we've got water coming in for the mycologist, uh, mycologist and the herbalist. We'll just put in one for now, but we might want to put in two later on. Anbu Kitchen is producing. So we've already got one food bowl for Anbu. No, we don't. No, he's not actually working. Where are you? Oh, you've come to get food. So you're now you're going back to the mycologist. Then that should be good. And the feeding trebuchet, they need to remove the rocks and stuff before they can start doing that. Unfortunately, we have taken a lot of their workers away. And oh, they're good. There is a feeding spot for Anbu over here, which is excellent. Okay. Airwell is going in. Farm will go in fairly quickly as well. The only problem is we just only have two workers working there. I mean, we could take a person out of the stone cutter and a person out of the carpenter, but I kind of like the idea of having those in there. We've got so much wood and stone at the moment for them to turn into planks and slabs. And we're going to need the planks and planks and slabs. So as we upgrade all these different things, as we research them, we're going to need those. Now, the horn blower we've got next and the village doctor after that. But what do we want to get into when those are done? The dung collector is pretty important, and the Anbu pharmacy is going to be fairly important, especially since Anbu is getting poisoned faster. So maybe Anbu pharmacy and Anbu doctor, but then we might want to get cactus, especially if we do end up in a desert. Although, is the cactus going to grow? Oh, I don't know, actually. And if the cactus doesn't grow, we don't have a way of getting water in the desert. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know how that's going to work. Let's just, we'll try getting the cactus, but I'm not sure if it's going to be the most helpful thing. Then possibly the dung collector. Then we might want the scavenger hunt and the landscaping. We'll see. Let's see how that goes. Oh, we might want the decontaminator. Ah, uh, we're going to want so many things. Let's just hold off on that for now. We do have maximum research at the moment. Hornblower has been researched there. So we're going to want to build that in because I think we, we're going to want to stay out. Actually, food will grow in the desert. Well, what good is food if you have no water, though? Oh, I don't know. 
I mean, this is going to be very bad because it's going to be very cold in here. Well, I guess we'll just see how it goes, right? There's nothing else we can do about that. The air well has been constructed. That's good so we can start getting some water because we are actually completely out of water. Although we can't actually because we don't have anyone working there. Hmm. Where would we take someone? For? I think here because we have no water. So there's nothing you can do. And once we have one Anbu food made, we might be able to close this. Yeah, they don't have enough mushrooms. Oh, no, they should have enough mushrooms. Oh, no, you need 20. Uh, let's close that for now then. Don't know what you're going to be able to do. All right, these things are going in as soon as they've cleared out the construction site. Now, however, wait, they don't have anywhere to store that stuff. So we do need a material storage. So let's stick the material storage, I can think, over by these guys. Also going to want a water tank. I think we'll put it here. And a pantry. I think we'll just, where are we going to put the pantry? That's going to be a farm, isn't it? So let's put it over here by this. All right, Anbu is now in the mountains by him, which means it is freezing temperatures, which means our... Mushrooms here aren't going to grow at all. The ones that are already there are going to decay. So we can close the herbalist. We can close the mycologist. That's going to give us two extra workers. Well, I don't know where we're going to stick them, but it does give us the workers back. So let's get them maybe into there for now. I mean, I'm not really sure. That's it. That is going to be tricky. Perhaps it's a good idea to get the scavenger hut kind of faster because then we could be going to get... I mean, sometimes in the woods and things you find like mushrooms and herbs sometimes. Oof, I don't know. It's so tricky to say. Freezing temperatures is going to be very interesting because it's going to really change, you know, how difficult each biome is. It's making the mountains basically impossible. I mean, we can still get water here, but then we can't do anything with the water. So I guess we're just going to be collecting it. We may need to figure out another berry spot. I'm thinking over here. There seems to be quite a lot of berries over here. It's 49, 54% here if we put it there or 54% if we put it there. Let's take it there. 54% and then hopefully that helps a bit. The only thing is we might want to put a road in between those two. So... If they're trying to bring it over to this kitchen, they can walk a little faster. I haven't yet. Yeah, I think it's good to get the roads in fairly quickly. And they can't grow anything in the way right now anyways. So, right. Anbu has found some food, so he's going to be eating there, which is good. The farm we can't do anything with, so we can make your area where you're allowed to do. But then there's no point in having this open because the be actually the beets will grow in the freezing. Okay, so it's not as if they don't grow at all beets. I mean, other things won't grow at all, but the beets are very hearty. They're fine with the bit cold. I mean, not great. They won't grow as well, but they will grow at least a little bit. So we could put someone in and actually start getting beets. Not a terrible idea. A village doctor would be good. Let's put it up by the herbalist. Right, Ambu's had a bit to eat. He's still kind of hungry though, 18%, and he's getting very sleepy. Now, if he does lay on the ground, he will be getting poisoned, which is bad, obviously. But we are researching Ambu Pharmacy now. Although if he does lay down, we... That's as many herbs as we can get. We can't actually get any more at the moment. It's a bit concerning, if I'm honest. I think we need to get the storage going so we can get some of these things moved into storage. Especially since they're not going to build this until they have a place to put these stones. And other than taking it into the stone cutter, they don't have anywhere to put it. Now, we do have two starving people, three hungry people, oh, one starving one now. But there is food available, so there is like a couple of meals that they could go and eat. They just need to go and get them, I think. He's harvesting some berries, but then when he's done harvesting those berries, he'll probably go eat. Hopefully he should be fine. Hanbu is going to lie down very soon for a sleep. Oh, it's a bit worrisome, isn't it? Okay. Anbu is having a sleep here, which is fine. Our material storage is constructed, which means they can start moving things into there. They obviously have lots of stone that they need to be bringing either into here or actually, I suppose, into actual buildings. I well needed some stone as well. There's definitely lots about. I think I am going to put one person in to the farm to make beets. I think that won't hurt. We're getting water and then at least we'd have the beets as kind of a backup emergency supply of food. We don't have the kitchen for it, but it's better than nothing, I think. Right, the Anbu Pharmacy, let's stick up here next to the Anbu Kitchen. And then we'll put the doctor down over here, so they're all kind of nice and close together. Right, we're getting some rain, which means we're, our water production will be going up. So that's fine, I guess. We'll need water for later. We're going to need to have a, quite a bit stored, I think. Why did I put a pantry next to the air well? That should have been a... I don't know, that's where the beets can go, I guess. And it's close to the kitchen, I suppose. So it would have made more sense probably to put it over there, but that's okay. Oh, we've got two doctors. I don't think we need any doctors. We don't currently have any poisoned people. So we'll close that off. Hopefully people will go to work in the places that they actually can be working. So we've got one little farmer in there. We've got two people in the air wells, which is good now. I've moved it, so it's just one person now in each of these. Oh, we are out of wood, you say? I well, should be able to collect a lot of these trees. We're not out of wood, that's for sure. Not like last time. Right, lots of trees that can be collected by workers. No problem. Right, we're going to be having a choice soon. Um, and will our home blower be built in time? 
possibly actually, if we prioritize that, we might be able to get the Hornblower built in time. The only thing is Anbu doesn't particularly trust us, so I don't know if we're going to be able to really influence his decisions, but Anbu's poison level's at 16% already, so we're going to need to keep an eye on that. We are getting the Anbu doctor built and the Anbu pharmacy, but it will take a little bit of time here. The Anbu pharmacy, surprisingly, is not planks and slabs, it is just wood and stone. That's pretty good. Although we have no way of actually making the stuff we need. Ooh, there's some villagers coming that way. We are getting the Hornblower built, so we, if we do get the Hornblower built, in theory, we'd be able to tell him to lie down and possibly wait for those people. It would be good to get some more villagers, although food is looking like a bit of a struggle at the moment. It is jumping up and down, and it's not great, and we are completely out of berries now. Oh, we have some berry muesli. Which way is Ombu going to go? Because we didn't get our Hornblower built in time. Ooh, please come straight, Ombu, because there's food down here for you. Yes. Although that's staying in the mountains, which is maybe not the best. We can't grow any mushrooms for you, but there's food there at least for you. Maybe you'll catch those people. Is our horn blower being built? No, we're having wood shortages. We've got the general workers. What if we just went to the bee harvesters? Go forth and harvest. Because there's lots of trees that they could be cutting down. I'll just set a few of these to be high priority so that they come and focus on those. Because we just need the wood. There we go. Yes, okay. They've got yeah, if they just get a couple of those cut down, then they can go back to being general workers and get that wood in for the horn blower. Oh no, we're gonna miss them. Oh, we're gonna miss them. Our horn blower not quite done in time. Cactus plantation has been researched though, which is good. We're now working on dung collector, which I don't know if that's super important that we need that right away, but actually, you know, we do have the aggressive spread on, so toxic plants would be spreading faster. So it's probably a very good idea. I'm so sad we missed those guys, but that's okay. We'll find more in the future. There's a spot here for Anbu to eat, which is great. Because it's the aggressive spread, we're going to need the decontaminators fairly quickly because if we do, you know, run through a poison cloud, if we go into a forest again, it's going to spread like mad. We're going to need to make sure we have lots of compost and biogas. Oh, and there's our horn blower constructed, so that's great. I think we keep that closed, though, for the moment. We don't have a worker to go in there. Right, Andrew's eating, which is great because he is very hungry. Good. Back down to 12%, which is helpful. This cold, short cold snap does not help. I don't think we can actually get colder than freezing, so just is what it is. We've got a bit of rain cloud moving towards us. Anbu's evacuated his bowels, but we don't have the dung collector in yet. We're still researching it, but we are getting close on that. We are going to want to build a road that comes all the way down here as well. Right, it's raining, which means we're getting water even faster. Look at that zooming up, which is good. And we do have, well, that storage is getting quite full. The dung collector is now done, which is great. Our next, oh, is he sleeping in a cold snap? It's cold weather, but it's fine. Nothing can grow worse. So actually cold snaps don't do anything now because we're already as cold as we can get. So that's absolutely fine. We're not worried about that one, surprisingly. Uh, but we are having a bit of a berry problem. We do have this other berry collector over here. 54% efficiency. We just need to get some workers in over there. Maybe you could temporarily close the slab place. Uh, we need to close the pharmacy. There's nothing for you to be doing. And the feeding trebuchet. That will give us some of our workers back. Definitely need more employees though, don't we? But at least we can get some workers over there to gather some berries. Now that's quite far for them to carry over to the kitchen, but it's better than nothing. So we're going with it. We might also want to just like harvest these berries so we have more berries to eat. It's only at 45%. It's not great. And of course we are stuck in like this rainy cold snap. I mean, that weather must be absolutely horrendous. Poor Anbu. And does have medium ground poison. So Anbu's poison level is going up and up. Now to make an antitoxin for him, what do we need? Oh, 30 herbs, which we do have, but then we wouldn't have any herbs left for ourselves. But it might still be worth it, actually. We could put somebody in here. Just, as long as we're in the mountains, we can't get any more herbs or mushrooms. But at least Ambu just ate, so I think that's all right. But we don't have enough mushrooms to make him another food, but we have one on standby. I do think we kind of need that antitoxin, but we'll just wait. Scavenger Hut has been researched. Oh, I didn't even realize that's what we were doing. Landscaping is next. I feel like we've got other priorities, but that's okay. Um... Let's get you in over here somewhere. Scavenger hut's going to be helpful. I mean, we don't really have the people, but if we could get to these ruined settlements, we might be able to find more people, which would actually be very helpful. Might prioritize that. Everyone could go and go forth and work on these things. All right, we're getting some beets, but our berries are down. So let's switch this over to beet soup for a minute. And then hopefully they can eat some of those beets. Yeah, they're bringing them over already. Go and make some beet soup because our people are very hungry. Yeah, the people are just eating actually they'll just berries or just beets. Okay, we're out of the cold snap, but there is another cold snap there. There's a settlement there, so if we could get this built, I don't think we're going to be able to, though. We don't have enough resources available. We are lacking on the stones and slabs. We still have the, res the 
people to go and do anything about that. Now we've got quite a bit of water. In fact, there's nowhere for them to store it. So I'm going to close that water gatherer. That means they can come and work somewhere else. Oh, and we need to research. Okay, compost heap. I think we need to go for compost heap and decontaminator. So compost heap. Oops, don't cancel it. Just go there. And then the decontaminator next. Wheat's fairly hardy and it would help us with the food quite a lot, I think. I think you can grow wheat when it's colder or... Wait, maybe you can't. Maybe it needs to be warm. I'm not actually sure. I can't remember what it looks like. Seawater collector, no. Oh, we need to get kind of all of these things. Well, the pet on boo and the sleep command and the eat command would be very good. But they do cost all the knowledge we have at the moment. So let's just go with the compost heap and decontaminator. Landscaping is now in research. So we could use, we could use some of our resources, not that we have tons, to do that. And then we'd get our efficiency back up. Like we could get that into the positives. Well, I say positives, but over 100%. It's so actually right now, Oh, we have poison people. Ooh, sorry, what? what? Sorry, what? 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 Right, open a doctor. We need a doctor. Got a doctor coming. I didn't realize people were poisoned. Okay, that's not great. Oh, I, need, I want. I would really like them to get that scavenger hut done so we could go to the settlement and try to find some more people. Now we can't attempt to tell Anbu which direction we want him to go. I am. I don't know if he'll listen though. That is the thing. We haven't really made you know good friendships here with our Anbu. We're not necessarily aligned with him. Not sure which way you're We don't know. You're out of stone already, okay? And there's definitely lots of stuff for us to be gathering. We don't have our... Oh, no, I don't have my horn blower open. Hold on. Give me a second here. I don't know if we can get a worker in there. Do we have anyone who could go work in there? Maybe one of you? I don't know if we'll get there in time. Go forth. And that way. Amba doesn't trust our command. So he's not going to go there, which is a bit unfortunate, but I guess it is what it is. It's fine. Um... We probably don't need someone in the horn blower then. Close that back off again. I'll put you back into your research building. And nobody's poisoned, so we can close that up again. We'll stick you back in here. Okay, our stone cutter is temporarily closed because we don't have the stone for things. But there is stone around. We've we've asked them to gather some of the stone. It's just a matter of them going and doing it. All right, Anbu ended up going this way anyway. So isn't that the way I told him to go? I can't remember now. I'm pretty sure this is the way I told him to go. So he didn't trust my commands, but he was like, well, we'll just go that way. It's, it's the way I wanted to go anyways. Great, Anbu. Very happy about that. Oh, and look, there's two settlements. We just need to get that. So many settlements around. If we had our scavengers, we could be getting so many people. I mean, we're going to find some people on the road, which is at least good. And you see two more wood planks. Oh, we're so close. You are working. Get those two wood planks done. And then a builder can just go and get that put in. The roads are starting to go in as well, which means people are traveling faster to and fro, which is also very good. Compost heap has been researched, so I guess we would want to put that down here with this. Not that we're in a big rush for those things. They're definitely not the priority. Oh, actually, they kind of are though, right? Because if we do, we are in a jungle biome, which means we could get poison spores on our back. And Anbu has chosen to come in here and then sleep immediately in the jungle, which means his poison levels are going to be through the roof. Now, it's cold here, not freezing which means these will grow. We do need to reopen up both of these things. We have to be getting mushrooms and herbs in. It means taking workers from other places. A bit tricky. And we need to get workers in here. I think that's going to be really important. So I may close that. Do we have a doctor? No, we need a doctor though. All right, there should be a doctor going in. We've got the parties now. Many of our villagers are poisoned. We have a doctor going in. We have a bit of herbs, not a lot though. Definitely not a lot of herbs. And also Anbu's poison is very high. He's already at 52%. He's also very hungry, but he's gonna be eating there. I'm more concerned about our lack of herbs at the moment. I think we're gonna need this to be filled. But where do we take people from then? There's, there's no people about. Oh, pick these up. Yes, pick those guys up. Too healthy, too hungry. We should be able to solve that poison problem. It's a few more workers. I think we want that to be full. Scavenging party returned with four people who want to join our village. Now, Anbu is in the red for his poison level. Many of our villagers are poisoned. I think we're going to need to get another couple doctors in. So this is now maxed out here. Although, what's the problem? I don't know, it's a bit cold, but we also are going to need to get the Anbu pharmacy opened. We need to be getting Anbu sorted. His poison level is now 73%. He's also extremely hungry. We can't, no, wait. we don't need to feed him because he's about to hit that. That should be okay. Our scavenger party is out. Oh, we found these guys on the ground as well. They're poisoned, but we can deal with the poison. I mean, we need to deal with Anbu's poison though. Otherwise, this is going to be a repeat of our last attempt. And we do not want that. <laughs> it would be very bad. Our doctors are working. We've got three doctors out and about. That should be helpful. The herbs are now growing. Are they growing well? No, they're not growing well, but they are growing. That's at least something. We need to be getting, there's currently no herbs over here to bring in here. 
that herbless hut, not being able to grow in the mountains is so problematic. Okay, Sca oh, scavenger party back, back, brought back some bread. We'll take the bread. I mean, that's some food, so at least people have something to eat. Just even for a second, it's going to be gone basically immediately, but rather that than people starving, Anbu's hopefully going to eat here. We need to do something about his poison level, so I'm getting so nervous about that. But as long as we're poisoned, it's not great. All right, here's more people. Too healthy, too hungry. It's not super ideal, but it is what it is. We're going to need to send everybody out as much as possible. Go and collect these things that are around. Get those resources. Oh, what do we want to go for next, though? Sleep command isn't bad, but we only have that three knowledge. And we also probably want the salmon quarry at some point. Tomatoes, the heal shrooms. We probably want the heal shrooms. I mean, let's research it. I don't know if this is the best course of action or not. You guys are out of herbs. Oh, it's so bad. We don't, we need, we need to heal Anbu. He's, he's at 81%. He's now dying from poison. He's getting out a cough. Okay. I think we need to close the doctors. Our people, if you're poisoned, I'm real sorry, but all the herbs need to now be going to Anbu. Let's get this open a second person. We need to get this built. The Anbu doctor is going in right now. Okay. Scavenger party back back 15 stone. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, I think we should be able to save him. I think we should be able to save him. One heal will definitely help, but his poison level is still going up because he's got this low ground poison here even. Oh no, he's he actually, the poison level is going up. Oh no, the jungles are so bad and they're cold, so it's like not even helpful. Okay, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put you there. Um, another herbalist. I think we need more herbs. Look, there's tons of herbs here. They're almost done. Okay, come on guys, come on. Bring them over. Let's make this top. Yes, look at that. They're almost there. They're almost there. Bring them over. Let's get this going. Build an antitoxin. Then we need to give it to Anbu straight away. He's at 89%. I think when he gets to 100, he's just going to start losing health. I don't think he's going to die immediately from that. I think his health bar trumps it in a way. He's also really hungry and tired. If he sleeps, we're, we're having a bad time. If he sleeps, we're going to have a really bad time. We might want him to go straight on. We definitely want to avoid that. We don't have the decontaminator built yet. Okay, the, herb the other herbless has been built. Let's get those in. Okay, these guys are already back with some more wood. Just send them off again. Let's see if we can... The antitoxin's almost... Guys, this is not a time to go get food. This is emergency time. We are having an emergency. Horn blowers here. We need to go north. Oh, boo, accept our command. Okay, now we just need to make sure he doesn't sleep in the jungle. He needs to get to that desert. He can sleep as soon as he gets to the desert, but he has to get to that desert. Because if he sleeps on this ground, he's at 95%. His health is now dropping. Oh my goodness, I am nervous for you, Anbu. Okay, heal stream has been researched, which is definitely something good. And let's open the research tree. Huts would be good. Obviously, we need, I mean, that is, that is good. We need, I think the corn and the wheat also need to be researched. Oh, it's so tricky, isn't it? Seawater collector at some point needs to be researched. The sleep command and pet command need to be researched, but we don't have tons of, actually, we don't have any knowledge at the moment. We are going that way. Anbu is coughing though. His poison level is so high. This is almost done. We just need them to get in there and actually get working. Come on. Why is it at 78%? Get in there. Get in there. Oh, we don't have enough houses for people either. We've got a housing shortage. We'll put in a whole bunch more tents. Those should go in pretty quickly. All right, show interactions. Antidote, give Anbu an antidote. His po- Oh no, Anbu, this is not a good place to sleep, buddy. Not a good place to sleep. Oh, I don't know if we have any doctors. Hornblower we can close. Feeding trebuchet. I can't actually feed Anbu when it's... Okay, I'm going to put just one person in here, I think. Okay, at least he's getting an antidote. Okay, that's dropped it down to 82. I need him to not be sleeping. I think we do need to reopen this. We need to get Anbu to walk. I don't know if he will. He will not. His poison level is just going to be going straight back up then again. Not great. Okay, close that. Close that. We can't get Anbu to like, wake up anyways. Let's get both of those running fully there. I mean, they are going to get more stuff. We've got our doctors. We have one person badly poisoned. We've also got hungry people and they also want more food quality. Not super ideal. We could build another kitchen. If we had a second kitchen, then we could be doing beets. I mean, let's put it over here. Then we can do kind of a beet one. We'll have another farm over here at some point, I'm sure. Or here somewhere, we'll have another farm. This one's at 63%. This one's at 49%. So actually, that one's more efficient. Who are you and why are you just standing around? You're a berry gatherer, but you're waiting for a doctor. I mean, the doctors are coming. It's only so much we can... Oh, is completely a poison. 100% and we... We're stuck. We are stuck. Okay. He should be able to wake up though because technically he's not tired anymore. Oh no, he won't listen. Oh, but you're literally gonna wake up anyways. You're at 0% sleepiness. Get up. Keep going. Okay, he's up. Let's close that. We need to get this open because we're gonna need to feed on Boo. 
I mean, feeding him is going to make him happier. It's going to increase his trust in us. Then he will listen to us better next time. I guess the nice thing about having the smaller view is that everything we go to is actually really close by. It's only 15 hours to go here. Normally, when you can see further out, it takes so much longer to get places. We might not actually even need more than one scavenging party until we get the that viewer place. Oh my goodness, okay, a bit of a longer one because we were, you know, a bit concerned about our onbu, but I think we're doing all right. But if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget what is happening. Onbu growls and shakes its back and with it, your village violently. He's mad, he's so mad. Our air will collapse and our carpenter collapse. Onbu is trying to kill us. I've never had a murderous Onbu. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, Onbu. It's not our fault. Anyways, we're trying our best to save it. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more. What is this? How did this happen? Wait, how did this happen? Oh no. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.